All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Waha Rekakodash, and honors be to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. This is the brother Yahweh da, coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So, Lord willing, that this video is edifying, comfort, and exhorting to you, brothers, well as you few sisters that's listening and learning. The year 2023, the hopeful year that all prophecy be fulfilled, and that's right, we pray and hope. That all prophecies come to pass in the time that we're living in. All right, especially in these times. All right, especially in these times. And I want to speak about oppression. All right, as you brothers see, I got the the uh, definition of oppression on the screen. Oppression. Oppression. All right. And this is uh oppression. It says prolonged cruel or unjust treatment or control. All right. It says prolonged cruel or unjust treatment. Our control so oppression is another form of control all right another form of control and who's in control all right here in babylon the great and throughout the world the so-called white man all right he's in control and he's been oppressing us israelites okay god's chosen people all right and esau is the devil that the bible speaks of it says to state of being subject the state of being subject to unjust treatment or control. All right. And who's in that position that that state that the state of being subject to unjust treatment. All right. The Israelites, man. All right. Just look up the history. All right. Of the oppression of of Jake, man. You know, through Atlantic slave trade, you know, us coming to the shores of America. You know, the 1960s, 19, 1940s, the 1950s, uh, the 60s, man. All right. Jake has been subject of being the state of being subject to unjust treatment. You know, what to the point where you can even walk on the same side of an Edomite, man. Jake getting spit on, you know. Unjust treatment or control. And Esau is in the form of a control, man. Classic scripture, Job 9 24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. It says mental pressure or distress. Mental pressure or distress, man. And that's why you see majority of our people, you know, they're bugged out here in America. Because why? Under the oppression of Esau Edom. And that's why we go out here on the highways and hedges to let Esau know his judgment for his oppression. On the, on, on the most highest chosen people, man. Because we are the apple of the Lord's eye. You see? That's why a scripture came to mind. I'm going to come back to this. <clears throat> In the book of Amos. The first chapter. In verse 11. It says. This said the Lord. For three transgressions of Edom. For four I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. And did cast off all pity. His anger did tear perpetually. And he kept his wrath forever. You see. And that's the uh, the mindset of Esau Edom man. You see. He did pursue his brother Jacob. With the sword. And he cast off all pity. To this day man. It says. And his anger did tear perpetually. To this day man. And he kept his wrath forever. You see forever man. So that shows you, man, that Esau intentions towards you Israelites. That he's always going to be set out to be cruel, all right? To bring unjust treatment, mental pressure, pressure or distress. Some similar words. Hardship, all right? Ill treatment, cruelty, unjust. Like the scripture says, the... Um, he counted himself uh, not guilty. You know? It says pain. Misery. Suffering. You see? Ruthlessness. Enslavement. Ooh. The action of making someone a slave. Subjection. The enslavement of, mir of millions of Africans. Which were uh, Israelites. You see? So... All this is another form of impression, enslavement. The actions of making someone a slave, man. 
And that's what Esau have done to the nation of Israel. You know, scripture speaks about is Jake a home born slave, man. This is Jeremiah 2 and verse 14. It says, Is Israel a servant? Is he a home born slave? Why is he spoiled, man? Because Esau Edom, man. The oppression of Esau Edom. You see? Once again, enslavement, a prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or control, man. So this is why this devil's got to be taken out. And that's why we come out here on the highways and hedges to condemn this devil. And through the spirit, we're crying out. Telling Esau to let our people go. You know, like, like, like Moses did, man. You know, the message that he gave Pharaoh to let our people go that they may serve the Lord. That's what we're crying out in the spirit, man. You see, you know, Esau bring confusion upon our people. Then turn, turn, like the scripture says, surely turning things upside down should be esteemed as a potter's clay. That's Esau, man. You know, so, you know, I pulled up a couple of scriptures of oppression and I'm going to read a couple. You know, I just made it easy on myself. I got a, uh, got a, some highlighted, but it reads Psalm 19. And I start at verse 32. It says, look upon me and be merciful unto me. It says, as thou usest to do to those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of men. So I will keep thy precepts. You see, deliver me from the oppression of men. So that I will keep, so will I keep thy precepts. You see, and that's what we're crying out to be delivered from the oppressions of man. All right, so ultimately we can, you know, follow the Lord, you know, to our best ability, man. Because Esau, Edom, he doesn't uphold none of the righteous judgments of the Heavenly Father. He doesn't believe in the Bible. Like the scripture says, uh, God is not in none of these devil's thoughts, man. You see? So the oppression of us Israelites being in Babylon the Great, man. Let me see. Am I spelling this right? Salaki. So like I said, I just typed in. Oh, man, that's not right. Just bear with me. All right. Yep. So like I said, I just pulled up oppression, you know, made it easy on myself, you know, just hit the precepts as I go. But. Uh, this is Job 35 and verse. Matter of fact, I started verse, this is Deuteronomy 26 and 7. And when the and when we cried and when we cried unto the Lord, Yahweh, power of our fathers. The Lord heard our voice and looked upon our afflictions and our labor and our oppression. That's right, man. Crying out to the Lord. That's what the elect is doing. And the Lord is hearing our afflictions. He's looking upon our afflictions. All right. Our labor and our oppressions, man. It says, and the Lord brought us out, brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. That's what the Lord is about to do to modern day Egypt. Babylon the Great with an when they with an outstretched arm and with a great terribleness and signs and with signs and wonders, man. And he brought us to it and he brought us in, into this place and have given us the, this land, even a land flow with milk and honey, the kingdom. You see? So the Lord seeing our uh, uh, afflictions, he sent the oppression, you know, from who? The oppressed people, man. And oppression shall make you mad. Like it says, oppression make a wise man mad. I believe it's in here. I felt, let me just grab it. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 7, verse 7. Surely oppression make a wise man mad. And a gift destroy the heart, man. All right? Oppression should make you angry. Knowing that you've been mistreated. Like it says... 
mistreated, unjust treatment, or under control. All right, by the wicked, man, first and foremost, a low life people. That should piss you the hell off, man. All right, that should piss you the hell off, man. You see? Let's go to some more. This is uh, Isaiah 54 and 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt fear, thou shalt not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near thee. That's right, man. You know? Because everything is going to be set back in its right, rightful order. Where the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, all right, join is with our Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh Let me see. But I believe that was it. The ones I had. You know, through the spirit. But you know, the point is, you know, we're still under oppression. And soon the Lord is about to take these uh the the oppressor out, man. You know? About to take the oppressor out. Let me grab this one. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and verse 11. It says, get out of the way. And turn uh, aside out of, pa of the path. Cause the Holy One to cease from before us. And that's what majority of our people says. This is Isaiah 30 and 9. This is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Will say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy the seeks, man. And that's what the, the mindset of you Israelites. All right. You don't want to hear the truth. All right. Because why you been oppressed for so long, man? You've been having the wicked to control and rule over you for so long that you begin to believe that you are heathen. It says, get out of the way. Turn aside the path of the path and cough the Holy One of Israel, which our Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shah, to cease before from before us. Wherefore, thus said the Lord, who said the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression. All right. Jake trusting in oppression. OK. And preserving this and stay there on. Therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. You see? So you Jakes are going to be punished, man, for trusting in oppression. Because ultimately you despise the word of the Lord. You hate truth, man. Because why? And Esau have done a number on you. Mental pressure or distress. You see? Majority of our people are mentally gone, mentally sick, man. Suffering. You see? Ill treatment. All right? Maltreatment. Maltreatment. Cruel or violent treatment of a person or animal mistreatment. Maltreatment, man. You know? Hey, hey, hey Esau, man, you gonna reap what you sow, man. For all the uh, wickedness and the, and the numbers that you have done on my on our people. Hey, the, the Most High clocking everything, man. And you devils num number, you devils on on bar time. All right, that's why we praying the Lord speed the time, speed the days. All right, so we can see the fall of our enemies. All right. So with that, you know, I'm going to wrap it up. This has been a lesson on oppression. All right. And the they oppressed people about to be taken down. And so with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Ha'ashah, Ba'ashim, Ka'kadash. Next time, Shalom, and a Bible ball.